let me tell y'all about a time when I discovered internet porn. I was around 12 years old. Now, just because I discovered internet porn around this age doesn't mean I wasn't watching porn before this. Back then, we had VHSs. Me and all my niggas, we used to go to school and just trade them joints. The ones that came with the labels on them, those are like the soft core ones. Those ain't the ones that you really want to get. Best ones were the black tapes with no labels. That's how you know you done got that real shit. But we always used to come to school with like a book bag full of them and just trade them like Pokemon cards. It was always a hit or miss though. Because since they didn't have no labels, the bad ones would always get mixed in with the good ones. So one day, me and my nigga decided to trade some porn. That was the day that I missed. I gave this nigga one that was like Onion Booty Volume 41. Shit had all the bitches with the fat asses. Couldn't even get past the trailer without letting a couple rounds off. So I'm thinking since I gave this nigga a good one, God is about to bless me with something. Fuck no. Nigga, I get home, got the paper towels ready and everything. Turn this bitch on, there's nothing but pregnant bitches. I really didn't know niggas had a fetish for fucking pregnant girls. Bro, I think one of the bitches was in labor. Nigga was hitting one of the bitches missionary and I swear I saw a baby kick. Only reason why I know so much about it because I watched the whole thing like any real nigga would. You really think a couple pregnant bitches are gonna stop a preteen from masturbating? Did I let off a couple on every scene? Anyways, that's just how my porn adventure started. VHS and the sex specials on HBO. Only problem was that you pretty much just had to go with what you get. You couldn't just pick a specific category that you just wanted to look at. That was the only downfall of it all. But I knew in my heart that there has to be something better out there. So one day as we're on our way to school, this nigga gets on the bus and goes straight to the back and for some reason everybody's gravitating towards this nigga. So I knew he had something I had to see for myself. So I get back there and this nigga is passing around porn pictures of all the bitches on Dragon Ball Z. Nigga found some website called Dragon Ball X. Nigga was back there selling them pictures for 25 cent a picture. And that day I only had two dollars for lunch. Notice I said had because I spent that whole two dollars on them pictures, nigga. Nigga, I couldn't wait to see Chi Chi and Boma fucking each other. Call me a pervert or whatever, but those are all the cartoon bitches that we grew up on. And I'm finally getting to see them fuck. Couldn't pass up that opportunity. The point of me telling you that was to tell you that I didn't know that there was porn on the internet at the time. I thought if you ain't had VHS or HBO, then you out back. Boy, I was about to find out something that would change my life forever. So at the time, we had AOL dial-up. I'm pretty sure everybody did around this time. Now, as slow as AOL dial-up is to us now, that pretty much was the fastest thing we had back then. But anyways, one of my niggas, he came from a rich family. Their internet connection was strong as fuck. This nigga knew about internet porn way before I did. And just never bothered to put me on. So when I found out about it, I went to go ask this nigga what's a good website to go on. This nigga told me callkelly.com. So one day I'm getting home from school. My aunt and uncle at work. Brother's out doing some hoodlum activities and my sister's over at one of her friend's house. It was the perfect setup for what was about to go down. I felt like God set this moment in history specifically for me. He knew I needed to be shown the light. As soon as I walked through the door and saw the computer. As I turned on the computer and was loading the internet, I could just feel the tension in the air. Something big was about to go down. The excitement was overwhelming as I was typing in the website in the browser. I felt this little surge just run through my body. Like, whoa. As soon as the page was done loading, I saw all the categories. They got white girls, black girls, fat girls, females. I did not mean to say that. It only looked like once. I'm not gay. They had every category you could think of. First category I went to was white girls. I always had a fetish for thick white girls. At 12 years old, all the bitches had bodies like me. Bro, the first joint I ran into. Sarah J. Big Sausage Pizza. Now I know that sounds like a gay porn, but it's pretty much when a girl orders a pizza. Then a guy shows up with a pizza with a hole in the middle of the box. And surprise, there's a sausage. She was the thickest white girl I've ever seen in my fucking life. Martin Luther King died for this. Rosa Parks would've got the fuck up off that seat just to see that ass. It was like I had telekinesis for everything that I needed to get the job done for this video. Everything just started flying to me. I needed lotion. I needed paper towel. Paper towel wouldn't do it for this video. I needed something stronger. I realized that wouldn't do, I needed something stronger, and it hit me. When I pulled my shit out, I was surprised that something so small could feel so big. It's like all my blood left my body and went straight to my little wee-wee. My dick was so tense, it almost hurt to touch it. I felt like my dick saw Krillin die and turned Super Saiyan itself. I can't even explain to you what I did to my dick. It was like a David and Goliath battle with my dick in my hand. My dick wrote a check that only my hand could cash. I turned that whole room into a gun range. I had to nail a towel to the wall just to shoot at it correctly. So seven hours later, when I finally got off the computer, after mild carbon tunnel and a slight fracture of my wrist, I realized why God gave me a left hand. I mean, I really never used my left hand before that. It kind of was just there. My left hand was like Yamcha the Z Warriors. Always there, but never really made a difference. After this session, it set off an epidemic. I just couldn't stop beating off. I went over to my nigga's house and he was chilling with some girl in his basement. They had three computers, one on every level of their house. I had to get this nigga to give me one of his t-shirts so they wouldn't run out of paper towels. I didn't even know girls existed outside of the internet anymore. The only girl I ever needed was right here. Nah, for real, man. Internet porn saved my life. There's nothing in this world I love unconditionally like internet porn. I mean, I have kids, but... You know, yeah. nothing can really compare to internet porn. Just in case any of you don't believe how much I really beat off, look at that forearm and tell me if I'm lying. 